Hello everyone, this is an Anus production and today I am going to be doing a hard skirmish match on the map on Fair Advantage on Command and Conquer 3 Tiberian Wars. Now, this is a general uh, skirmish match and I am not really accustomed to doing brutal right now, but I'm just giving um, an over voice, or a voice over rather, so, um, and this will be out against the hard AI, I just have not gotten used to the brutal one yet. Uh, yeah, so I was actually had a quite an interesting match. Um, I thought it was actually going to be a bit harder um, since I was only just I hadn't actually been um, with the hard AI for very long, and I'd always been beating it, beating it. But that's only because of this map layout. I haven't really got on the other maps apart from Blackwater Brawl, which isn't really too bad. Um, but this is generally the map that I like to have because of the funnel at the ground level. Uh, so yeah, what I'm doing here is um, building three cranes um, because that can help me produce more um, structures quickly and generally people start to build just one right at the start of the match but um, I build three sometimes depending what strategy it is. This build up strategy which is I have like four different production structures which equals to four product different production queues which I can use to defend my base with um, and what I'm trying to upgrade my tech level so all, the, all the way unlock the tech center get all the obelisks down inside so that I can defend off against any aircraft that the enemy might throw at me and also uh, while I'm doing that I do tend to put the war factory down um, uh, it's not one as well, it's actually four, um, so I could just start churning out units because it is going to be quite hard to try and defend my base, especially with a Russia, um, and with the harder AI, the AI um, they're going to send out um, more units to try and destroy your base quicker. Generally that's the Russia, but it can happen with other what I always do anyway so that I can get some units out there um, and I found that Sc scorpion tanks actually do do a lot of damage um, just because that they work really well um, and that's what I've generally been doing and later I put a laser upgrade on them which makes them very very powerful and I put venoms actually you, you, you'll see later so yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm like building loads of uh, predator, not predator tanks, that's GDI. I'm putting loads of scoping tanks on, and, and I'm putting them on the battlefield, and hopefully I will let them defend my base first, build up my defences, build the venoms, and then equip them, equip the venoms and the scorpions with the um, laser upgrade, so that I can go to the enemy base and just destroy them. Um, but I've also got to make sure that there are no surprise attacks as well because though I will most likely get flanked while doing this and um, when I do this type of match anyway uh, but all the ground forces will be funneled into that one entrance hence why the maps are called unfair advantage um, but yeah that's that's basically it's actually quite a simple strategy but it works really well especially with um, higher difficulty AIs because you're working with better suited AIs and they they expect more, they try and use a variety of units and a variety of combinations to try and destroy you and you've got to expect pretty much a lot of combinations, you've got to really concentrate on a unit's weaknesses and capabilities and you've got to exploit them with the, your own units and any powers and that could affect unit production um, or possibly just whittle their health down a bit so you know, it all depends on how they lay out their, all their units and just how you've laid out your skirmish match as well but this one was rather simple to do and it was actually they're actually quite fun as well because you don't need once, once you actually know the strategy you don't really need to think much when you're doing this strategy in particular because it's just getting into that routine and once obviously with a lot of things once you get into the routine you don't really need to think about a lot of things you just do it and it happens it just you just, he likes you just play it and you don't even realize you're actually making it work so obviously here you've got storm storm riders coming into the base and they're trying to destroy all the structures but obviously i've got lots of air defenses and i'm building the venoms right now as well i've already got the laser upgrade on my tech center which makes the units a lot more powerful especially with them both combined um, as it, now i'm just going to the enemy base to try and destroy them um, and it does take a lot longer I'm just I just cut the video down because it it gets a little bit boring but um, yeah it works out very well um, and also the thing I've noticed is that when you have venoms 
and, and scorpions, they do tend to protect each other, as in the Venoms won't get totally destroyed once, like, anti-air units come, like, if you're playing against Skrin, you'll have mostly Seekers and Gunwalkers coming to attack your forces, especially your um, Venoms, but with the Scorpion tanks, they can just be dealt with quite quickly. Um, the one thing that I'd actually watch for is if the enemy is producing a lot of tripods, because tripods do a lot of damage against vehicles, and they're very good against vehicles themselves, and they're even better with shields. So really, you should watch out for that, and if they do have shields, it might be a good idea, it might not be, to build bombers, but, I don't know, bombers take a long time to build them, they have a lot of credits, and they're not really that effective. I do Venoms because they're cheap to make, and in large groups they're very... They have a nice damage output, and they can destroy structures quickly. I mean, look, there's there's a rift generator as well, which thankfully they they tend to build it on the um, green Tiberium field. That's not the one that's shared because on the map they have three points, and it goes in a triangle. On the very bottom of the map, you have two points, and they share a Tiberium field. But if they go straight up, they have a Tiberium field each. So the, they tend to go to the Tiberium field like directly above them or uh, like if you go forwards then you go to that Tiberium field as you can see there it's a bit dif dif difficult to describe but they go there they tend to build all the super weapons there but if if they get repeatedly getting destroyed they take it back to their own base and they defend it a bit better there so yeah that's it, it's actually quite simple to be honest and I really enjoy this strategy and I really recommend it for anyone who's trying to destroy an AI that's hard or brutal especially with this map because it's very simple and it's very easy to work with so yeah I did and hope you enjoy this video and I will next one And there we go everyone, that is an Innis production, I did hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. And I'll just quickly just have a look through all the things. Yep, all looks fine. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.